All right, welcome back to another Tool World podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew today. How's it going there, Mr. Jew? Why are you so still? You said don't move too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, boy. He's so silly. Anyway, <laughs> what's on the agenda today there, Mr. Jew? Well, we were filming the Tool World Plus uh, for the Chung Wu. And uh, we came across on like, I'm not sure the exact movement, but it's towards the end, maybe 24, maybe. Oh, okay. It's the front block with the back fist strike. Oh, yes. Right, and then mm. we, we, we found that it was actually one movement. And we're like, oh, that's kind of strange a little bit on why is it just one movement? Why is it not considered two movements, right? And then we went back and we looked through different patterns and what do we find? So we have in Dosan, where you do the straight fingertip thrust, release, and the spin in the back fist. So the release and the back fist is one movement. But two techniques. But two techniques. Right. In Warong, you do the punch, grab, kick, and the knife hand. And I believe that the kick and the knife hand are two movements, uh, one count. Right. In things like Hodong, you have the defensive hook kick, side piercing kick, uh, consecutive kicking without setting it down. That is two movements, one count. Right. And the interesting thing that we found was that they all have application photos for that. So, you know, usually when you're looking at the encyclopedia, if I do a punch, there's another photo that says application and it's him hitting with the punch. And so these combinations all have application photos for both techniques as if the person had not moved. And so my question is, does that change your view on how the patterns are done? Yeah, no, I think um, those combinations are, he wanted us to practice those specific combinations. You know, you do the release and then do a back fist strike. I mean, if you practice that a lot, it should become automatic in a way, muscle memory, if you want to call it that. But yeah, that's a good point because when you think about the number number of movements or the number of counts in the pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Dan Gun 21, Do San 24, right? And so forth. And mm -hmm. so if you look at that and if you're not conscious about that, when you start doing those counts, like for instance in Warong, when you do the side piercing kick, knife hand strike, you're going to go um, whatever the number that can't think of it right. Master mm -hmm. Gagan would know the number mm -hmm. right off the bat. <laughs> he was like, oh, number move us up. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, you would count it, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not, right? Yeah. You just set that foot down. And, and so that kind of messes up the count. So you go, wait a second, I thought it was supposed to be 28, but I just counted 30. Mm -hmm. Is it because you, you know, you added that count? So if you were doing Warong, you would do the side piercing kick, and then you would do the knife hand strike, and then you'd have 30. You mm -hmm. wouldn't have 29. Right. So um, the, the numbering or the number of movements, not, I don't think you should call it the number of movements. It should really be called the count, mm -hmm. 18. And then it might be two techniques in it, mm -hmm. right? So I'll ask you this. Why would he have two techniques on one count? Well, obviously there's an application for them, but why specifically those techniques? Yeah, so uh, I think about like um, the one you mentioned in Chung Mu where you do the front block and then the back fist strike, side back fist strike. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I first learned that pattern, I kind of thought of it as like, kind of like consecutive, mm -hmm. right? It's, or fast, it's one, two. Mm -hmm. It's together in a way. Mm -hmm. And so I actually did the pattern where I did the front, the front block and I'd bring the hand to my shoulder and then do, immediately do the back fist strike, mm -hmm. which is not correct because mm -hmm. it's, an act, it's like separate movements. When you do the front block, it goes to the hip and then you execute the back fist strike. I kind of thought of it as a tempo. If you think about those movements, it is kind of like tempo. Like when you do, in Dosan, you do the straight finger to thrust and you do the release. It's not just release and then do back fist. It's like release back fist strike, mm -hmm. right? right? And so is it, is it that? I mean, I think that makes sense for like releases. But then like that front, front block with the back fist strike, I don't know if that, I mean, I guess it could make sense. 
But that's what right. I was saying is that it was when I learned it, it was like, <laughs> right? right? It's <laughs> right, something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, when you look at the photo, it's actually, <laughs> and so, right. so, but book and description, um, you don't see the tempo, mm -hmm. right? So, what is it? Is it like continuous? Is it like fast? And so, when you look at um, some of the patterns that describes oh, this is performed in a fast motion, this is performed in a continuous motion. But mm -hmm. there are two separate counts. Mm -hmm. Now we've got two techniques with one count. Is there a correlation between tempo and the count itself? Mm -hmm. Right. What's your thoughts? Well, I think if you look at the Kamdo videos for Chung Mu, it's almost like it looks like regular just movement. regular movements. Just, right. right? Um, but then at the same time, they also, like his, con in the Kamdo videos, the idea of like fast and like regular, the fast is not that much more faster back then, or the continuous. This is all fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant it's like, I think the tempo nowadays is way more picked up because when you look at the old style of videos, it was a little more bouncy and there's like a little bit more rhythm to it. It's like, would be almost be like fast. And but nowadays yeah. it's like, you know. You mean the fast movement, or are you talking about the pattern in general? Just, well, everything. I think that today the pattern is more like broken up, it's more right. slower in that way. It's like right. one, two, mm -hmm. right? Whereas um, the way I used to do it, mm -hmm. I remember people saying, oh, old school. <laughs> you yeah. do it the old way. Yeah. This is kind of like flowing, just kind of like, you right. know. But going back to the point, Okay, so now that we know that there's there's application photos for the two movements on the one count, right? He has, right. He has a set, multiple application photos of how it is utilized. Does that change your view and think like, oh, each technique should just be kind of treated separately? So like, for example, in Dosan, you have the high side block punch, right? Right. But that's not considered... One, one count, count. but so two. do I look at it now as in just oh I'm just practicing a high side block one and then the next move is like I'm just practicing a reverse punch two. Do I do you still see it that way or do you still think that what exactly are we working on? Yeah, I, I mean I. So patterns are practicing skill sets, mm -hmm. uh, specific techniques, mm -hmm. right? Right in a just a choreographic type of movement or rhythm or pattern whatever and um the example of the side piercing and water on side piercing kick followed by a knife hand strike they are two separate techniques i mean you could do a side piercing kick but you could also then step forward and do an, an outward knife hand strike right mm -hmm. but it also kind of teaches me in in that way is that hey if i hit my target and i always talk about about this in class is if my foot hits my target, that probably means that my hand are, is in distance, is close enough to execute a hand technique. Mm -hmm. And so if I hit my target with my foot, I should automatically set it down and use my hand. Mm. Okay. Right? In Waran, that was kind of what teaches me that, right? Mm -hmm. I do a side piercing kick and I follow it up with a knife hand strike. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are separate techniques, right? Um, what's the other one? They were talking about um, front block, side back for strike. They are separate techniques, right? Oh, you're... I'm talking about like other techniques in general. Not those techniques. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm doing dosan, right at the beginning of the pattern, I think most people might think like I go block, punch. Right. But Why that's not? not one count. That's right. That's but no, right. That's, that's what those are I'm talking about, not the... Not the not the ones we were talking about earlier. Right, I see what you're saying. Um, should it be that, that way? <laughs> should it be that way? I, it doesn't fit the number of movements in the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> you add more movements. <laughs> oh, you got you got. Oh, wait, wait. Um, there's 29 movements in Warong because of the 29th Infantry, but mm -hmm. you know we've got uh, we actually have 30 movements, and how are we going to fit that in? So we yeah. we combined it too. <laughs> it could be that too. So that also brings up like why did he decide for these techniques to be the one count? Right. Because like how did he decide that? It could have been anything really, 
Um, yeah, some, some your, make... your example is right. I mean, why not in Dosan you go block and you counterattack right away? Because you, to me, that would make a lot of sense. Right. Right. You wouldn't go one, two. It should be one, two, right? Right. That's kind of like in uh, what? Jun Gun, you do the release and then you do a high punch. Well, it's a release is one mm -hmm. and then the high punch is two. Yeah. It's a separate technique, but to me, it would seem like you go one, two, right? Yeah. Yeah, that could have been one. That could have been one. So. But why? Why? Why, why were they separate? Hmm. I don't know. My, my only thoughts would be that that was something that he actually did in training. And he said, oh, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it works. <laughs> uh, well, I, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that. And mm -hmm. maybe someone out there has a better idea. Mm -hmm. But I would probably think that specifically those techniques that, that you're developing a skill set for mm -hmm. certain techniques mm -hmm. that they're in connecting or combination or I don't know it's hmm. my guess I don't yeah know. I don't know well let us know your thoughts on the two techniques in one count um, let us know through our Facebook page send us a comment and uh, we always really appreciate the feedback so that we can make these better um, and um, this one probably will get because it's going to blow up. Maybe. It's like, oh my gosh, look at all those comments. Maybe, hopefully. It's not happening. <laughs> but thanks for jumping in today. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to be safe. Keep training. And have a great week. Take one.